a laptop and the idea was it would upload to you know Google Photos so that I could pull it up and, and then of course uh, it, it never bothered to save so so that sucked so sorry about that guys I had to pull up my other thing and then that just didn't work okay got a couple of other product keys I can try doing I always save my old yeah I, I know that um, what's his what's his name um, Jay-Z two cents recommends that too so that's something that I wish I would have thought of but you know didn't so oh well okay that's not gonna work because it's not a prop huh been root kitted what do you mean okay right I'm just not sure what He didn't work either. Okay. Got a couple more I can try, guys. Yeah. That's true. I just want to see if it works. I'm so used to using the number key, the number pad, and the number number lock is off, and that always messes me up. Alright, I gotta start this over. Can't upgrade what? Oh, okay. Well, I have the key for my Windows 10 install on the other, uh, my old PC. Should I use that or do you think I should hold off on that? Okay. We'll hold off on it. Oh, hey, it worked. Sweet. Yeah, one of my old keys worked. All right, so this is a custom install. I need to make a new partition. Here, guys, I'll let you watch what I'm doing here. Can you guys see that okay, or is it? So it says to ensure Windows work with my create additional partitions for system files. You say okay. Um, all right, system reserved and primary and next. Now it's copying files. Alzu, I am in my Discord right now talking with Khan, and um, I Duckman is here too. Okay, so while that is going on, what do I need to do with my old system? I don't want to remove the old M.2 drive just yet. And if I, let me see here, can I get to it? 
I need my flashlight. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. So what I can do, guys, while we're installing Windows, this all feels so behind the scenes. Well, while we're installing Windows, one of the things that I can do is I can get the old box up on the uh, table. So let's... Uh, Oh, that's bright. Oh my god, that was bright. Oh, god, this thing's heavy. This thing's heavy. This is a heavy sucker. Alright. I'm going to put the old one up here for a second. And I'm going to pull out the M.2 drive in here. Hey, M. Captain. We are currently installing Windows on the new PC. Yeah. So here's the old, uh, my old Intel 1660p. Um, underneath, underneath the, um, uh, underneath the fan is the uh, original uh, solid state drive that I had on here, the original M.2. It's a Samsung 951 NVMe, so I'm going to keep that in there um, as, a, as a booter. And let me put this uh, screw back in. It's a 660. I always say 1660. I just screw it up. Ooh, that's kind of dusty. I did go in here and clean this thing out before, but Axel, I might be going dual system. I'm really not sure right now. Um, for right now, I want to make sure that this PC can run and operate on its own. Um, but, you know, like... Um, so I'm going to put the old video card in. So I'm going to put the my 980 Ti back in the system. So I want this to be a good backup system if something... Uh, doesn't work for me for whatever reason, and I need to, uh, you know, I have a system down, I can pop this one back in, in a sense, right? And, and be set, so. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy back in. Break glass in case of emergency, says M Captain. And yes, you are correct, sir. Um, but I might repurpose this into a stream PC, like Axel, you were saying, am I going, uh, you know, double PC? I don't know. Maybe. Um, I don't know how I feel about the power draw, uh, doing that, but, um, I could, I know that that's a lot easier for streaming purposes and that sort of thing. Uh, I know this PC will handle streaming just fine. Uh, and we have our first reboot. So Windows is already installed. Yay. Okay. Um, power cables. Gotta love that, like, you have to flip these. Sometimes. There we go. Go. So those are set, and installed, and, and ready. Uh, awesome. Okay. Graphics card is in. Oh god damn! This thing's heavy. Ah. Oh, okay. Let's check the back side. So like I was telling you guys about the graphics cards, or sorry, the uh, the hard drives in here. I can pop down here and you can show you guys. So 
got uh, two. These are old. These are from my old Alienware M17, the original M17, which was the first Alienware gaming laptop after uh, Dell bought them. So those are here, and they'll stay here, I think, for uh, just basically storage if I need it on this computer. This is a hard drive caddy, which I was never using. I don't know why. Oh, no, I was using because I had the one hard drive in here. Um, and I took it off. Just to make it easier, I'm going to go ahead and put the caddy in like I had it, just so that it's, so I don't lose it. Make it nice and easy there. That goes down there. And I mean, nice cable management. That's what I love about the Fantex cases, you know? This one does have a fan uh, controller, as you can see. So it controlled all the other fans. Gonna miss using this case. It's a nice case. Okay. Let's, uh, hey, computers restarting again. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, case put back together. Zoom back off for you guys a little bit so you can kind of see. You can see the new and you can see the old. Out with the old and with the new, right? Windows is booting up. This thing even has little rubber pieces that go into goes into um, goes into the, the fan here so that it helps with noise deadening and stuff. So that's kind of neat. Okay. That's good enough. I'm gonna bring you guys back over to my screen because now it's on the screen here it says what region is this we're gonna say this is Murica god that case is so sexy guys look at that sexy case oh my god I I thought about getting RGB RAM but I decided not to and I think I'm glad I didn't yeah and a second no Um, I'm going to say I don't have internet. Uh, I don't know. I just couldn't find a set. This motherboard is extremely sensitive to, to RAM choices. So, um, I'm going to go continue with limited setup. I believe this is what Jay-Z said to do, right? And, um, I'm going to put in Lord Zath. I'm gonna have to put you guys up there like that for a second. Password one, two, three, four. Ah, security question. Security question number two. And number three. Okay. You hear the yeah, you hear the keystrokes, password stolen. Alright, now this is if I recall correctly, this is the part uh, where GZ basically flicked off the screen for all of these and said uh, 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 uh. I love I love his videos. He did so great. So, no to all those and accept. Cortana, no. Hi. All right. Yeah, RGB RAM would be cool. 
Um, I just didn't know. I, I was worried that it would overpower everything else or just be too much RGB. But I guess if I'm already at RGB, I might as well go big, right? Go all in. Never have too much RGB, he says. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Um. Ah. Jesus. This thing is so, so freaking heavy. Um. All right, we got the, the hard drive, or we got the solid M.2 out. Everything is set on this one. It's ready to go. So I can put the, uh, the case uh, back on it. The glass panel there. This might take several minutes, says Windows. I don't know. I mean, I know that this one is a better power supply, but it's also much older. So I'm not sure how I feel about putting a, a seven-year-old power supply in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Back when I built all this, maybe it, maybe it's five. I don't know. It's, it's when I built this PC, right? So, I, I mean, it's whenever the 980 Ti was out. So... You can go back and figure that out if you want. It's whenever the 6700K was out. So I think this is 2015. Okay. Yeah. So that's six years ago, right? So it's a six. It's a six-year-old computer uh, power supply. So I'm just I'm worried about yeah the the capacitors and stuff going out on it. So I figure hey, you know. Um, They probably do. All right, maybe later. Okay, well, I guess now's the part where it's time to connect to the internet, huh? This is the part where China steals my computer. Moment of truth. Get rid of that uh, stick that's got that too. And connected to the internet. Woo! <laughs> All right, so now it's connecting to the internet. What else do I need to do on the current system? Not much, I don't think. Okay, now if I remember, if I remember correctly, uh, under Jay-Z's video recommendation, uh, before you install drivers and stuff, you should, oh my God. Um, how is Google Chrome browser a special offer? Do you guys see that? Um, but before you do all these, you're supposed to update Windows first. So let's go ahead and check for updates. Oh, look, it's installing all that craziness anyways. I, I love how it wants to put Norton Security on. No. Okay, I'll just uncheck all of those. At least we, if we can't have, can we at least have your Wi-Fi password? Lol. These are all things that I'd want, and Chrome I'm going to install anyways. Um... But like I said, I want to wait until Windows Update finishes. Uh, and then I'll worry about putting that in. Then I'll install the graphics card driver and stuff like that. Microsoft now owns your computer. Damn right. Now in the bottom right corner, it says it's setting up devices and all that kind of stuff. So that's good to go. Um, at some point, after I'm done installing all the updates and the drivers, I need to power the system down and connect the SATA for the two uh, mechanical hard drives in the back. Um, and I also need to connect the M.2, put that in too. And I just realized I haven't done my dailies yet. Crap. Well, I do have my travel laptop I could do while I'm downloading all this kind of stuff. 
Uh, Mob 180 Gaming Antivirus? Bah! You don't need antivirus these days, right? Stevie is not around, no. But maybe, maybe now is a really good time. Whoops. Maybe now's a really good time to relax a little bit. What do you guys think? You think it's time for a break? You see, one of the things that came with this, uh, this desk, one of the things that came with this desk is a hammock. So I think while it's installing everything, if you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna uh, just kind of just rest for just a little bit. It's been a long day. These are Fabletic shorts. You got it. And my Fabletic shirt as well. I just got these shorts uh, a couple days ago. But I love being able just to relax here and chill. And I can actually raise and lower the desk um, while, I'm, while I'm in here because the motors are that powerful. But sometimes I'll just sit here and I'll have the mouse like right there. And I'll just watch videos on YouTube and just relax. <sighs> it's so nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. From, from right here, I've got a I've got a pretty good viewing angle. I mean, it's not straight, of course. It's not, you know, dead on. But I can watch just about any uh, video I want from here and just chill. It's really handy. My wife is extremely jealous that I have this. <laughs> All right. It's at a certain percentage for the update... And then we'll restart. And then we'll uh, we'll have some fun. You know, chat. What do you guys think? Should I repaste my old CPU while we have time? I can't read chat right now. I'm gonna have to. Get out and see. Uh, my old CPU. I've got I've got plenty of, of thermal paste available. So yes. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, I can I can take the old uh, the old thermal paste off, and uh, scrape it away because it's it's what five six years old. So that's an opportunity I can do that while I'm installing all this crap, right? Might as well, because, uh, yeah, I've got some rubbing alcohol and some paper towel, so that should be enough. Um, I've got, uh, the thermal paste that I've been using, by the way, is, uh, it's MX4 thermal paste. Seems pretty good. No, it's, uh, Arct it's Arctic, Arctic MX4. So... You know, I don't know that it's it's perfect, but hey, it was. Yep, yep, and I, I love how uh, I saw I saw I think it was Skyring said this is where you this is where you slept on Sunday, right? <laughs> I have actually fallen asleep in the hammock, but um, it, it hasn't. I I haven't been banished to the hammock before, so. All right, let's uh, let's get the side panel off this case again then, and I'll put it back up on the table. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, it's such a comfortable hammock. Um, of course, I did not buy the I didn't buy the desk just for the hammock, but it, it was certainly a selling point, right? Okay. All right. Some benchmarks? Yeah, I can do some. I don't see why not. Uh, 
Oh, I usually don't run stress tests on PCs. I, I don't know. Maybe I should, but. Can you guys see? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, it's not within the window for return and exchange. But, uh. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm hmm I have been noticing that my processor temperatures have been getting kind of hot, so I think it's a good idea to, to do the repaste anyways. So, and like I said, we're just waiting for Windows updates to install anyway, so what else are we going to do, right guys? Khan, if you could, keep an eye on chat and let me know if people are saying stuff and whatnot just so I can respond to them. There's the old. And you can see it down there on the processor. So let's see here. So here we go, guys. Uh, we're just going to wipe down the processor. Get, get that thermal paste off. Out with the old, in with the new. Yes, they're the same exact RAM, it's just uh, one is the, the red and the other one is the black. I really like that, you know, it looks, it looks kind of nice, you know. Um, I guess I got lucky. I mean, they're, they're identical in terms of performance and clock speeds and cycles and all that, so. Okay. What was that? Permanent RGB, he says, yeah. Uh, well, the idea was I, I wanted to have them be different... Uh, different colors just because it I think it looks cooler that way instead of having four of the same exact because to me that that's kind of boring right so like if I have the ability to do it why not highlight the, the fact that they're you know two separate pairs and that also makes you you know reminds you that hey this is this is set up properly right in the in the proper dual channel method One last cleaning. I see a couple pieces of towel fuzz I need to get out of this, and then I should be ready to go for the application of the thermal paste. I'm sorry, what? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea, because it is pretty dusty on the back side. So, yeah, we can do that. Yep. Yep, I um, I did clean some of the stuff before. Hmm. I don't know that I want to take it all out and dust it. I could. I'll be right back, guys. So I do have my can of compressed air, and I do have my fan. So I'm going to go to the bathroom and blow it out over there. Be right back.
cleaning completed. Uh, computer, by the way, is booting up again. It's probably going to have another round of updates to do, so no rush. And I'm going to get the thermal paste on before I start messing with too much other stuff and get dust all over the place. So I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see me doing this, but I'll try it anyway. So you do a nice decent bead and then you go and spread it out. Uh, should probably clean the top piece off from last time too. Am I missing anything from chat by the way? skip leg day. You guys are ridiculous. But why am I not surprised, right? Oh god. Alright, so time to spread. Probably should have done this before I put the graphics card on, but it's okay. I've got tiny Asian hands, so it works. When I, when I pasted this CPU the first time, the proper way of doing it was the, the little rice pea or whatever. Like little little bit of rice. That was it. Now, the consensus is you spread a little thin layer all over the dye. Who knows which way is the best. Mm -hmm. So many different methods and, and ways to do it. Mm -hmm. I like the one where they did a piece of glass. Then you'll go and do it again. I'm applying. Just taking my time. Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah, it's a, there's a little applicator piece now. So. Oh, squeeze your fingers. I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter too much on this system because I'm not even going to be turning it on for a while, but hey. Still good to just make sure it's all set, you know? Can't tell if that's a metal flake or a piece of debris that's on the, the heat sink piece. I'm gonna just wipe it one more time. Windows update found two more updates to do. So it's gonna do them. Yeah, those looks like they're they're kind of like little chunks or divots in the uh, thing, so that's all right.
are pretty much locked in tight now. Not going anywhere. Okay. Uh, fans. I cleaned these fans before. This one's kind of dirty, though. So let me go and blow that one out. BRB, guys. Pending restart. Restart now. Looks a lot better. So while I got these out, maybe I should pull this top fan up here, get this one out. One of the things, unfortunately, about this case is the top piece here um, got stuck open. I can't get it to close. So it lets in maybe a little bit too much. Uh, much air. Oh. Uh, top is exhaust, yes. But what I mean is because because it's it's sticking up in the back here, it's not like a it, it might be letting stuff in through the side. I don't know. Okay, check for updates. Instead of screws, what Fantex did is they gave you this like a uh, piece of rubber here that can go through and you can basically pull it and it'll hold the, uh, the fan in place. Except it's way back here. Alright, I'm not going to be able to get that fan out. So, I guess I could turn this sideways. Just blow it out towards the uh, middle of the room. I'm up to date. Hey. All right. So, what do we install? Nope. Never mind. Found something else. I like how it's oriented here. Hey, Puddin. All right, I was able to get a little bit more slack. You know what? I could probably just take it apart from the back here. Ugh. Hey, Puddin. Can you do a giveaway since you're here? Okay, that's done.
Yeah, I don't know why either. But hey, it looks cool, right? Brings back the nostalgia. I still have my old mouse, just for nostalgia purposes. My original mouse. No, I'm not using it on any systems at all. It's just it's fun to look back at and say, hey, this is what I grew up with, you know? All right, chat. That looks a lot better, huh? God, I remember that. Oh, you still can. Yeah, a lot of them do, yeah. A lot of them can just clear the BIOS. Guys in the chat, we're just talking about all the old tech that you used to have to deal with, like the jumpers on motherboards to set master and slave and all that good stuff. There we go. <laughs> hey, once upon a time, you needed to know that stuff, right? Like, that got you a job. If you knew that stuff. Okay, we're going to move away from that for a sec, guys, because now we are ready to do more things on Windows. So, what's the next step, guys? I would think. It's working fine, Lego Party. Next step is to order slash make pizza. Not, not a bad idea there. Um, there was an Asus program that ran uh, that, I, that I turned off, and I don't see it anymore. Q installer, this is it. So we're going to install everything except because those are, those are, looks like those are uh, older versions than what's installed already. So we're going to go ahead, actually, Intel Xeon PCIe controller, what? Let's just go ahead and install the chipset driver, get that done. I'll set Chrome as default browser, sure. PC porn is a naked motherboard? Lol. Having some problems with Comcast there, Axel? Okay, so that's installing. It's going to require a reboot, so we can go back to our little cleaning project. The other fan I think we can use to clean very easily is uh, the main exhaust fan here. Maybe if we have time I can do the one by the power supply in the bottom too. But this one I definitely want to get out now that I've got the, uh, the heat sink uh, fans off. Okay. 
You don't care. Same thing, I'll just hook it over the side here and blow it out. Couple of there. Okay, here we go. This fan's actually pretty clean. Relatively speaking, compared to the other fans. Other thing is still installing anyway, so there you go. But yeah, in the basement I've got a couple of these fans remaining, so I'm definitely going to put one back there, because I might as well, right? There's no harm in doing it. And those are in. Nice and easy. Still going with the install. All right, so back is always uh, exhaust. So we're going to put this one in here like so. Uh, this is the piece. I think I might actually do it like this. Can't. I have to do it like this. fan to the splitter piece. Slip away, dude. Slip away. Here's our other one. that to get stuck on the clamp so I'll put that outside the clamp uh, hello why are you not clamping There we go. For some reason that thing got stuck. Okay. So those modules are back in position now. And we can lift this up. And we can feed and cables to the kid. So what we have left to deal with is this fan on the bottom. 
And I don't like how dirty it is. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this bottom fan too. Although maybe we can't because of the power supply. I don't think we can, guys. Unless I disconnect all the power supply cables, which I could do. Damn. Oh, I have comp I have compressed air. Yeah. Why? You guys just blow it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just do the compressed air thing. That's true. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I have to redo the uh, these two anchor screw things because they got pulled through the base of the frame. See guys, it this piece got blown right, uh, pulled through the bottom. Same thing with this side here. So, come on, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Get my desk all dirty. Here we go. Gotta love dust, huh? Oh, hey, installation complete. Restart your computer. Yes. To clean your front fan, you have to take the case front off. That is a pain in the butt. Um, I have the same problem. I've got two fans right over here. No, I'm not cleaning those. Okay. I have the one where... Ah, here's the other one. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, the very bottom one has also done it. So, you know what? Let's just do this. What do you know? I was able to take this off. Five years of dust, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the filter on the bottom really helps, right? So, Khan just said it's not a lot for five years, yeah. Okay. Ah, this is going to be a pain in the butt to put back in. So yeah, it's got the filter on the bottom, and I've always been very careful about where I put uh, my, my computer. It used to be on the floor, and we have carpeting, so what we did was I got a piece of wood, and then I just I put the block down underneath, and that prevented an awful lot of dust and stuff from getting up into the, the fan. Also helped prevent it from getting starved. So. so, hold on a second. Uh, Windows has restarted and now Take a look guys. 
I'm in 4K now. Yay! I'm going to go and check for updates here. Pull up Hue Installer, see if there's anything else that detects that needs to be done. I'm not going to bother with those. Start, pin the task, unpin Chrome. It's got a Bluetooth controller. And system. That's interesting. I wonder. I don't think my motherboard comes with uh, Bluetooth built in. But uh, I do have a Bluetooth chip. I was, I was curious if it had that or not. Oh, we're ready to restart already. Jeez, this thing's fast. Okay. Well, it's going to restart, so I guess I can hold that for a second. Uh, Lone Wolf, the new PC is extremely fast and pretty with lights. New PC is an i9-9900K processor, uh, 3070 graphics card, RTX, um, 32 gigs of RAM, and then I've got a couple of uh, M.2 solid state drives. So, pretty much all the fixings, you know, everything you want to have a fun system. Okay. So I think it's time. What is this? That's weird. So if I open Chrome, it wants to do that. So it wants to save a temp file. Okay. I think it's time to download our GPU drivers, huh? Let's see, drivers. GeForce 30 series. It's a 3070. Search. Download. And let's go. Well, that's downloading. Let's see if I can get this thing figured out. Actually, the download's going to be done pretty quick, so I'll hold off on, on doing the fan thing for a second here. Let's get the, let's get the install going, huh? you guys. I'm hearing a clicking noise. I wonder if that means that my uh, headset is dying on me. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. That 30% seems to be okay. Uh, we are not going to do GeForce Experience. I've made that mistake too many times. Um, I just don't like GeForce Experience. It seems to take up a lot of extra resources, and I don't really feel like I get anything out of it. Okay. Let's see if I can get this fan back in place, huh? Although, well, to be quite honest, maybe I should... You know what I could do? take the PSU out and that might save me a little bit of, of grief can't tell if that's paint or dust it's 
probably paint. So I think if I can, oh boy. That's a lot of dust. I can just set it over here like this. Gently. Go in here. There we go. Oh, but we want the fan to be bringing in air, so I've got it backwards, like that. Okay, feed that through. Feed that through. Feed that through. Feed this through. The what? Oh, the ship? Hmm. I don't know. Hard to keep straight, uh, you know, what ships are being released and when and all that kind of stuff. So I generally don't pay too much attention to that. Okay, that's in two. Sweet. This cable out here. The question is, can I? Yes, I can. Good. Almost line up. Almost line up. Okay. Okay. So Nvidia has finished installing, and now that it's done that, my second monitor is now working and nvidia has decided to make it my primary monitor <sighs> so i know that there's a way you can do it software but for me if i can do it hardware first i always do hardware first so let's try flipping those and see if that works if it doesn't then hey we'll go the old way So it doesn't like being connected to that port. No signal. But it likes being connected to that one, I'm sure. Okay. All right. So I got no signal now on the other thing. So that's great. And video control panel. Continue.
There's that Fabletics uh, fabric up close again. Alright. Set up multiple displays. There's the Asus one. I want to make that the primary. Make primary. How far? again. Are you telling me it's on here? Um, you know what guys, when all else fails, restart the computer. So we're going to go ahead and restart it. Maybe that'll fix it. We'll see. <sighs> okay, while that's going on, I can screw the power supply back in. Would I, what, why would I get it to work otherwise, right? So let's see. Rotate display. I'm getting sick of this one. MSI, we're going to do portrait mode. Thank God. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. All right. Displays. Primary. Okay, well, it's supposed to work, but as you can see, don't want to. See if it detects the signal again. these buttons on the back is power. This takes five minutes just to shut down. I mean it was working fine until I hit something and then it swapped so I'm gonna try disconnecting and reconnecting on the back here to see if that uh, if that'll work. I disconnected, reconnected. It was working fine, and then what I said I was going to do is I was going to disconnect and swap the, the monitors. And that's when it stopped working. Maybe I should try that connection. And that would be a negative. Try connecting it there.
So I installed, um, I installed, uh, the, the drivers, and then right after I finished installing the drivers, then it does this. So that's fun. Let's see if I can get it to turn off, and then I'll... Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm rebooting with just this one. It's detecting it, it just has no, dis no signal on the display for it. That's really odd. Um, the other option is yeah, right. So the other option is I could just disconnect. Uh, let me turn the power off on this thing, and then. Uh, Okay. Now it seems to be pulling up the, the screen, so now let's add the other one. There we go. Go back to control panel. And we have to set up multiple displays. We need to drag number two to the right, since that's where it is. There we go. Keep the settings. Okay, resolution is 4K on this monitor, 1080p on the other one. Okay, I think, I think we're good for our settings here. Hey, Asif. It is very pretty. It is. Okay, now, uh, there was one 3D setting, if I remember correctly, that, um, that he always turned off. And I think it was texture filtering, changing it from quality to high performance, was what uh, Jay-Z always says he does when he does the installs. Um, and then... Emphasis, we can just, I usually go for performance. Okay. I think it's time to run a benchmark. Um, what's the site that I use? User benchmark. Let's go ahead and run one of these. See how the computer does, huh? There is the file. There it is. Okay, so that's going to run the benchmarks. Uh, I'm going to finish getting the power supply screwed back in. And that should cover everything that we need on this old PC, short of doing the full Windows reinstall on this PC as well, um, which I'll obviously not do right now. I'll do some other time. Okay. See some other dust, so I'm just trying to blow some of it out of the system here. Okay. Pull that back in. Put the top piece on over here. See, this is the part that I was saying was, was busted. Like, it, it's supposed to supposed to go in and click in the position um, and these are supposed to grab uh, on the sides but they aren't grabbing anymore for whatever reason um, and I tested with with all kinds of different things I just couldn't get it to stick so tell it that whatever 
Okay, cases, let's put the let's put the sides on. And what do you guys say we connect the uh, mechanical hard drives on the new PC and make sure those are working okay. And we can also put the M.2 drive in now, I think. This is, oh, dude, yeah. I was gonna say, it's weird. I, I could have sworn I had them, and then, you know. There's that top one. Make sure that's on there. Good. So this PC is dunsies. Everything I needed to do is set. So I find a place that's kind of out of the way to put it. And um, what do you guys say we take a look at our benchmark results, huh? So I'll hit close. And here I'm at, I've got a UFO. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys. So here's my i9. Benching at 89%. Performing way below expectations. Wonder why. I'll have to uh, mess with that a little bit, but um, graphics card is doing quite well. Um, solid state drive is doing quite well. Memory is doing well. It's going at 3.2 gigahertz, so that's good. So, yeah, pretty happy with, uh, with the upgrade so far, huh? We'll have to mess with that to figure out what's going on with the uh, with the processor, right? But still, that's pretty good. Um, chat, what else should I be doing at this point with the PC before I start like installing all the games and stuff like that? Is there anything else that you guys can think of? Skyrim, that's a good point. Yeah, most people probably overclock, so maybe that could be why. Um, Go back to check for updates one more time and see if there's any other updates. Let's go into Q Installer and see if there's anything in here. Optional updates, driver updates, DTS software components. Why wouldn't I just? Okay. Yeah, I could also do a stress test overnight. Weekend Warrior, I've got a 9900K processor. Ask Tech Jesus for help. There you go. Okay, well, I guess that about does it for the PC. Um, I'm going to turn it off now. And now we need to do our final touches over here. We've got to connect our, our last bits the other side uh, and then I think we're ready to rock 
and or roll. So let's put this over this side for a second here. So what I need to do on, on this side here is I need to connect the SATA drives to the to the hard drives that won't take much effort or time. I just need to find them. There's one. Okay, so one's connected, and here's the other. There's this other SATA connector. Interesting, it doesn't want to click in. Why do you not want to click in on the SATA connector? That's weird. This one clicked in just fine. This one also doesn't want to click in. Is it the drive? One clicks in just fine. Oh, there's actually that's kind of silly. The plastic piece, so it's missing a plastic piece on the drive itself to hold that connector in. What the hell? Why would it do that? Okay, well, now it's sticking. Now I got it to stick, guys. Do uh, just a couple of cable tie downs. It doesn't really move around so much. Um, then on the front side here, we need to install our other uh, 660p drive. Which I should be able to get to pretty easily down here. Okay. I have another screwdriver I can use. Where's my other screwdriver? Here it is. Nope. This one. Yeah, this one. Okay. Come on, you silly screw. There you go. The screw to sit down. Okay, I'm gonna have to do 
it the other way. Cause... I might give it a try. I might give it a try. Um, I don't know. Come on. Windows 11. I don't know how much I care for it. What? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that, sorry. Um, I do have to figure out what the hell happened to my M.2 screw, though. Because it fell, and it should have fallen right here. Oh, you missed the beginning of the stream? Well, you should be able to go over to the bot and pull it up. Uh, what the hell? Where did it go? All right, I'm gonna see if I can hear it. There it is. All right, I'm reconnected again. Let's bring this down for you guys. Well, I should have done in the first place, but you know, I was being lazy. Okay, and that to drive. All right, where's my screw? There we go. Okay. Ah. Only thing we have to do still is put the case uh, sides back on. Ah, so we might as well go ahead and do that. Here's our back piece. Feel like it's clipping in. It's not. There we go. Now it's in. Okay. Um, I'll put the front one on in a little bit. First, I want to get these. This is all working properly.
Oh, horsepower? Damn, I was looking for frames per second. There we go. Back to that one. Power up. Thing is mostly silent. Pretty nice, huh? Okay, now. Got all the drives in, so that might take a little bit longer to pull up. It's also possible, it's also possible that it might try to boot off of that other M.2 drive, so we'll have to see what it does. It says it's getting devices ready right now. While that's going on, let's uh, go ahead and do our finishing touch up here for the that cover. Okay, I'm going into the BIOS because I have a feeling. Yep, I was I was afraid of that. Uh, choose one and drag the items. So for boot priority, because it detected the other... Why is my mouse not working? My mouse not plugged in? Yeah, my mouse isn't plugged in. There. So it, it was detecting a boot on the uh, on the one gigabyte instead. So I'm going to switch that up. So that's priority now. And I'm going to set F10 to save and exit. And hit OK. So in theory, that's going to boot properly. While that's going on, It is a Fantex A500. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that was a magnetic filter up top there. Okay, so I've been able to come back in. Let's take a look at our PC here. So we've got we've got our local disk. This is the other hard drive that I'm gonna clear things up on and get rid of stuff and then probably um, wiped down completely. This is uh, the six terabyte backup drive. And this is, no, wait, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. This is our, this is our other backup drive, our other uh, mechanical. And then this is our um, backup here. So what I might do is rename these uh, just so that I know what it is. 
Uh, so at old m dot two drive. There we go. And rename this. Old HDD. Rename this to new HDD. Nice and easy, right? Okay, um, Chad, am I missing something? Just making sure. The only other thing I'm thinking about doing, guys, is putting a uh, fan on the back side of the uh, of the PC. So basically, putting an exhaust fan right here. I'm surprised there isn't one already, but I don't know how important it is, how much it's, how necessary it is. So, but. Uh, at this point, I've got a whole bunch of things that I need to install. Yeah, Wows is one of them, sure. Um, I need to install, I probably imagine I need to install Corsair's IQ. Uh, pretty sure I need to install um, EVGA's uh, stuff as well and, and whatnot and get all that stuff figured out. So uh, those are my next steps and Quite frankly, I can probably do that off stream. I don't know that I need to do that on stream. So um, is there anything else that you guys would like me to talk about real quick before um, I guess I send you off to somebody and I uh, continue uh, doing the uh, software install? Yeah, this was all accomplished by, by No Dirty Water. The front middle fan is... Uh, I'll tell you in a sec. The, the front middle fan, Felipe, is connected to the, the 3070. So what I think is happening is that the 3070 is not kicking it on. Uh, that's one of the reasons I need to install the, uh, the EVGA software. And then I think I can get that to work from there. So that, that's, the, uh, that's a thought at least. We'll see if we can make that work. Um, update on Pru. Uh, my wife took her to the doctor yesterday to get blood work done, blew a whole bunch of money to find out that she's terminally ill, and we have between weeks to a month, probably, for uh, her to live. Um, we can extend her life if we bring her in for fluids once a week, uh, but that's pretty expensive at two or three hundred bucks a pop, so I don't know if we're going to be doing that or not. She's moving about, she's excited, she's meowing but uh i don't know yeah it's her kidneys her kidneys are pretty much shot so she's she's on her way out um it's just a question of when so we're trying not to waste a ton of money you know to, to do it but at the same time try to give her a, a decent life uh at the end she's 16 years old she'll be 17 in september so she's had a good life um Obviously, we wish it would be longer, but, you know, with old cats, it's just, you, you, you can try one thing, and then she'll get better for a little bit, and then get bad again, and then you got, you know, and you get into this whole emotional roller coaster, which is really tough. So, yeah, we'll know when it's time exactly. Um, I'm going to drop the lights again so you guys can have a light show. And I can, for those of you that missed it when we booted up the computer, actually, I'm going to grab this, and I'll, I'll switch it to this one so you guys can see the fans in the light up. It looks nice. I mean, the case isn't as lit up as my old case was, but it's a smaller case. No. No, I mean, I'm going to put this right as close as I can. I mean, this isn't, you know, the best uh, microphone out there by any means, but it's definitely doing its job. So 
Yeah, so in theory, I, I'm going to play around with the with the, uh, the software for this, but in theory, when this card needs to turn the fans up, then it'll turn on the, uh, the middle fan there. It'll kick that into high gear. So, I'll, I'll play around with that. i got to install the drivers and all that crap and see what's up with it. Yes, so these three fans here came with the case. They're Fantex fans. Um, and like you said, they were RGB, so they all came with the case. Uh, and then the three fans up here came with the Corsair cooler. So then, of course, you know, the 3070's got their own fans on it, so. These, which ones? The These up here at the top? Yeah, they're exhaust. Yeah, so the idea is that they take air uh, and they exhaust it and it goes through the radiator and then up to the top. Why you'd want it what? Well, that's the thing. I mean, in theory, right here... Right, in theory, I mean, with, with the fact that there's enough pressure in the case, uh, in theory, there's there's no need here. Like, I can hold my hand here and I can feel air being pushed out of the case. So I don't know that I need a fan, but I can get one. Oh, hey, Duckman, look who's here. <laughs> she wants to go to her hiding spot, and I don't know if she can get to it or not. Hi, Prue. Yeah, she is. So, she's trying to get to her hiding spot. Yeah, she's got, um... Hi. Hi. She's got this, like, kind of area of, of flab right here that's sticking out. It's probably all just water. It's kind of sitting there. And she's having a tough time, like, walking and stuff. But she's she's a little bit better as of late. But it's still not the not the greatest out there, so... All right, I'm just... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so if I were to get another fan, absolutely, I'd probably get a Corsair one, because like you said, I can connect it to the hub on the back side. Uh, so that's what I, I can look at. The other thing is, I could just grab a Fantex fan that I have. It's not RGB, but I can just throw it back there, you know, and, and connect it, and it should be fine. So, well, thanks, Captain Bushy. Sorry to hear about your dog's tumor. No idea. I haven't edited it up yet. My my wife will edit it up for me, I'm sure. Um, but this was this was seven hundred. The power supply was like one fifty, so that's uh, eight fifty. Uh, this was another hundred and fifty, so now we're at a thousand. The case was another 140, call it 150 to make it easier, so we're at 1150. Um, hard drives were each, I think they were on sale for 200 or close to 200 when I got it, so 1550, no. So, and then the RAM was another uh, 170, so let's just add another 50, so that would be 16, 1700. So I think the, the total build cost is around 1700 for this. So that's not bad. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I can't. That way it says, where did I get? Where did I get the thirty seventy for that cheap? That was the new egg shuffle. I won the new egg shuffle. Dead weight. You can clip the click the button on top to change the color. If you're talking about up here, I can't because I have. I have it connected to the graphics card right here um, because the motherboard RGB headers are four pin, uh, but the uh, RGB header on the for the win card were three pin. So I was able to connect it to the back of the graphics card. So that's why these are all doing uh, what they're doing. Um, if you guys want, give me a second. Let me see if I can download. Um, 
uh, precision from the EVGA because I can probably I can probably mess with it. Let me see here, guys. EVGA. Position X1. I guess I do precision standalone. You're going to get that exact same card, 1300 from Newegg? 1300? Really? It seems like a lot more. Confused about that. Please sync. All right, so that's installing. What else do I need to install? I need to install IQ, I suppose, huh? Is there anything here I need to download for... I don't know, H150? Okay. It's trying to download, so it's got IQ set up version 4.0. One three point two two, and then it's got this other one that it's downloading. So we'll see what that's all about. Oh, DirectX, that's neat. Okay, so I've got IQ setup four and IQ setup three. Why would I? Why would I do IQ setup three at all? DirectX says I need to restart the computer anyways. Okay, let's go ahead and restart. That's true, Duckman. Yeah, putting negative pressure in the case by putting an exhaust fan there might bring in more air from outside. You bought a cab package cons today, twelve seventy nine. Had EVGA thirty eighty, a keyboard and a mouse. Let's see if it actually ships. They definitely took your money. Yeah, they'll take your money, all right. New X Shuffle uh, Rook is not a dance. It's a it's a uh, it's a lottery essentially. Um, you put in for it, and then if your name comes up, then they they let you know that you've got the ability to buy. Uh, but you literally have like a few hours to purchase and that's it or something. And if you if you choose not to purchase, well, then somebody else uh, gets it instead of you. All right, so let's pull up Precision Next 1 for a second here. Now, uh, you guys can see the case. Good. Okay. So what I'm going to do with Precision X1, and I'll put this over here so you guys can see it on the screen, but I'm going to go here to the LED, and I'm going to change it from rainbow to just static. And I'm going to set this also, uh, actually I'm just going to link them together. No, not that. Now link. And do you see that? Just that alone, all of my LEDs are now the same color. So you can you can set this to like a breathing pattern if you wanted to. Of course, there's all sorts of different light shows that you can set up with it. Um, 
what I might do is something that goes based off of temperatures. So you can you can basically set it up uh, based off of uh, what the GPU temperature is, and you could say, okay, well, uh, if it's if it's uh, between twenty and forty Celsius, why is it not there? Forty Celsius, and then up here sixty Celsius, and you know, hit enter, and now it, it sets it sets up the colors based off of how how warm the GPU is. Um, so that's one thing you can do, uh, and then for uh, where's the fan curves? I might have messed it up here. Fan speed. So if I wanted to kick the uh, the fans up, I could could link them and. Why can't I draw it? Why can't I? There we go. I can link them and I can throttle them up. And there they go up to full speed. Let's put it back to auto. Now it's interesting that the middle one hasn't gone up. Uh, I would have thought that the middle uh, fan, the case fan, would have kicked on uh, because of that. So I'm going to have to research that and figure out why it's it's not doing that. Because um, that's, to me, kind of important. But, let's save that. I mean, it should be connecting... Should be connecting that fan, but it's not for whatever reason, so um, I'll have to mess with that. I mean, the RGB stuff is working, so that's good, but that one fan header doesn't seem to want to work. So let me see how I can get that control. While I'm looking at that, I might as well install IQ, so we'll get that going. The, the fan? I would think so. Yeah, I'm seeing that there's people that are posting problems with it um, on Reddit and stuff. So I don't, I don't know. I might just have to go and maybe I'll connect the middle one to, you know, another header on the motherboard. Uh, or I could always connect it to, uh, you know, the back of the Corsair one. And then, you know, the Corsair controls that one, I suppose, but... Um, but yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to look around and see, see how, how to make it work. Plug one of your case fans into it, have the fan and controlled directly by the GPU's temperature rather than by the motherboard. It's controlled by Precision X. GPU fan external tachometer. So it does have it does have an external tachometer. Okay.
But I'll have to figure out how to get that uh, tachometer here. I wonder if it's over here on the side. Well, those are all just whatever. Huh. Maybe it just doesn't uh, detect it. So, we'll have to play with that and see. I'm installing IQ right now, by the way. Thanks, Time to Metal. It is a beautiful PC. Change that back from that to just a wave. Hey, there's your light show. Oh, rainbow wave, there you go. That's what we always had on it. Um, gotta restart the system, sure. I'm wondering what is up with that header. Maybe I didn't install it correctly. Since I didn't install it correctly, it doesn't detect the fan, so it doesn't do it. So maybe I need to open up the case again and take a look and see uh, what's up with that and, and try that. That's something I can do. It's getting some power. You can see how it's kind of kicking a little bit, right? I'm pretty sure it was a four pin. So it looks like it's it's getting power. It just isn't uh, really going from there, right? So um, we'll have to see. Uh, what I can try to do, I'm going to power it down. I'm going to move this back for you guys. Once it's powered down, um, I'm going to try disconnecting the fan header and reconnecting it and seeing if that, if that fixes it. I mean, it's a, it's a very simple, uh, basic thing to try uh, to resolve it. Um, I'm going to get in there with my uh, flashlight as well and just see what I can see in here. I mean, it looks like it's connected right. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Um, I could try flipping it over, see if that works. If I flip it over, guys, it does not want to, doesn't want to go in. So I think, I think there's only one way for it to go in, guys. I'm not going to force it in either, but that's in. That was my next step. So I'm going to try this like this and see if I can get it to work. If not, I'll go ahead and try a different fan. Um... Yeah. I want to see if there's, um, for electronics, I recommend the round repair hammer. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> 
Not gonna do that, sorry. But yeah, we can try with the stressing and see if that works. You know what's really interesting, guys, is that the... Really? Oh, hey, somebody else wants to become famous. Nice. Uh, yeah, right, exactly. Well, what if you could do both, though, Duckling? You could be rich and famous. Let's kick the fans back up again. Right? Fans are at 100%. Nothing's going on inside. Um, crap, I hit the Outlook button. You can't see what, the fans? Or me? Let's see. Okay, I'm just trying to read right now. How to enable the, uh, the fan. How could you view fan control? These okay, so That's not working. Yeah, why is wall? can't see it here, guys. Not sure where else to look. Look sharp until you look at the wire mess on the desk. Well, don't worry, I'll be fixing that. That's all everything else. Come on, where... That just takes me back to the thread I already saw. So, like you said, maybe I just have to stress it to get it to, to kick on. And if that's the case, um, 
We need to install some games, don't we? All right, World of Warships. Let's go with that. Correct email address or password. Well, that's great. <sighs> Can I just download Wargaming Center, please? <coughs> what, Stevie? You guys hear that? There it is. All right. So I can get warships going. Also need to install Steam and that stuff. Stevie said to play WoWs. Hey, I figured out my password. All right, so Warships is downloading now. Yay. Um, and I can try to stress it out by running it in 4K and that sort of deal and see what's up with it. Um, in the meantime, let me show you guys Stevie because he's right here. Or not. Hi. Hi. So that's DV. I think he missed me, guys. He's been afraid to go into the room, and I think he's missed me. Anyways. Um, so there's not too much else I can think of for us to handle here on stream. Um, I can boot up into IQ and play around with that a little bit. Because interestingly enough, I'm not noticing, I'm not noticing the LEDs from above as much. And of course that's because I don't have line of sight to them compared to the front. Um, I'm not noticing that as much. Let me go into the IQ software here and see what's up. Okay. So it's detected my keyboard and it's just detected the uh, this thing here. So. Oh, hey, well, thank you, uh, Menzerin. Thank you very much for the fall to do. Uh, so you can see lighting effects, lighting setup. Oh really? Okay, I'll I'll go I'll go annoy him in a second here. So you can set that up for cooling. Let's turn these fans on to extreme. So I can see here what the coolant temperature is. Now I can hear my fans a little bit more as they uh as they work to eject more air out of the case. But that might cause a problem with... Yeah, see now I'm not feeling the, the pressure so much here. 
it's actually sucking air in. So I'm going to have to keep these sets balanced. Otherwise, I'm going to get too much. Uh, I'm going to start getting negative pressure inside the case. Now I'm starting to feel it come out again. So I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit too. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to get cat hair in the system and all that, right? So. But um, it's interesting I can control this from IQ. I didn't realize I could. Um, so I guess there's a new firmware I can update. And then it's got different scenes. Oh boy. Um, what I can do, guys, is I can bring this down a little bit more for you. And you can see the light show better. There you go. See, so if you had a rainbow wave, there's the rainbow wave. And then there's rain. And there's visor. So, uh, Con, you said you said that uh, nice. You, you uh, Con, you said that IQ can connect to everything else, right? Maybe he's not here anymore. Okay, so I'll have to play around with that. And I'm very curious about this middle fan thing because I thought it was a really cool idea, but if it's just a gimmick that's not really working, then um, you know, I'll have to hook it into one of the other fan headers someplace. I'll find a spot. Um, yeah, there's my manual. So, So I guess I could put RGB light strips around the system as well, like the old ones, and just mess with that. Um, hmm. I could... What's the matter? Oh, yeah, I mean, you know. But I could try connecting to one of these other uh, fans. So maybe that's what I'll end up doing. Um, let's see, case fan. CPU fan. Okay, so I could connect, well I do already have, I have the top one in optional here, so that one's not going to work. Uh, CPU fan below that is what is connected right now to the water block, so that's not going to work. AIO pump, 
I doubt it's a good idea to connect it to that. Uh, case fan 1, CHA fan 1, is over here. Um, and I could connect it to that, I just have to route the cable all the way around. Just to get to that point. Um, external fan, we already said, is a no. I could also connect it to, uh, over here, I think it's down here actually, the uh, M.2 fan. And I could connect it to that slot. And, uh, you know, just, just run it that way too. But I would really like to try to stress the card out and see if I can get it to get it to go. Uh, what else do I need to install, guys? I need to install Streamlabs OB or Stream Elements and the OBS Live and all that crap again. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be great. Oh, cool. I have to log in to do that, and in order to do that, I have to turn off the stream. So that's gonna be fun. All right, guys. Well, I don't know what else there is to do with you. I wonder if I wonder if there's power options, power and sleep settings. I wonder if yeah, I'm putting on the M.2. Never go to sleep. Turn off the screen after. That's fine. Well, it's installing right now, so. So this is on balanced right now. And we want high performance. We're gonna go change plan settings. Change balanced. Why is it not changing anything else besides this? Okay. Normally you can go into much more detailed stuff, but it's locking me here. Okay. Try putting it on this one. Aha! See, now the little window thing popped up. Can you guys see that? There. Now you can see that. So, uh, hard disk off after 20 minutes is fine. Internet Exploder. Slideshows available. Wireless adapter. I mean, I don't have a wireless adapter on here, I don't think, but whatever. Uh, but it should be under processor. Maximum is 100%, minimum is at 100%. Specifies the active state power management policy. These are capable links, whatever. Select to suspend. I don't like select to suspend. So that could be part of why the uh, the benchmark didn't come out as as nice, right? Because it's possible that uh, that was something that uh, was it wasn't allowing the uh, the PC to go. So if I go back to balanced under balanced, I wonder what the processor power management was. Maximum is one hundred, minimum is five percent. See, that's the difference right there. Okay. So I'm going to keep it on high performance. 
And that could definitely be a part of why the uh, the numbers didn't come out the way we wanted to. Don't turn on maximum savings. What are you talking about? PSU self-destruct. You trying to make a joke, Duckman? Yeah, you. Here you can see the, uh... Okay, you can see the status of the install there. It's continuing to download and install everything. Uh, what else can I be installing now? I can install, uh, Steam. Also gonna have to install uh, Origin and Epic as well, so that's fun. All right, Steam is now going. Yes. Did you say something, Duckman? Oh. Yeah, it's kind of neat to see the, the videos they put in here. Mm-hmm. Gonna go ahead and get Origin installed. Yeah, it's part of the, the when you install from scratch, uh, that's part of the process. Kind of neat, you know, gets you excited about the game you're, you're trying to play and download, right? Yeah, they said that before. Yeah, they said that before, Duckman, that uh, that when they put subs into the live test. Now I don't, I didn't realize that it's ten point seven, but they. But yeah, they did say that when when subs come in, they were going to be put into ranked for initial balancing. So. Some people uh, get are upset about that. They say, well, you know. That, that makes ranked a, a joke, and my response is ranked already is a joke, so <laughs> who cares? I don't mind. Ugh. Oh no, peace lag. Oh, good. Oh. It is a raid. Oh my god, how you guys doing? How you doing, peace lag? I'm currently, uh, as you can see, I just built a new PC. It's over there on the right. I'm downloading some programs. Um, yeah. gonna have to yeah it's it, it's it is looking good I mean there's a couple things that I might want to try to to mess with but for the most part I'm liking how it looks uh, I got to figure out this middle thing here we're trying to I, I don't know if I'm gonna have time but I wanted to get uh, warships downloaded and uh, see if I can stress the graphics card and see if that will automatically turn 
uh, the fans on. Um, but unfortunately, it seems like it's, uh, it's taking a while to download. Um, that, that shouldn't be too much of a surprise, I suppose, huh? All right, where's my fan curve? So here's, uh, you see that? this is Precision X1. So, I mean, we were text testing this earlier, but you can, you can set things uh, to occur and you can link things together and you can set, uh, you know, your particular uh, color and it'll, because I've connected the uh, front fans to the card, so it'll connect all that. Uh, as well. Um, I like the idea of setting it to temperatures because then I get an idea of how hot the graphics card is getting. Um, but I got to mess with that a little bit more as well and uh, just see what's up with that. Like I would probably set it to 20, 40, and 60. And apply. So depending on the, the temperatures, the, the colors will, switch, will shift um, based on that. So that's kind of neat. No worries, PS, be slack, it's fine, it's all good. I should probably get out of here soon as well. Um, I wish I could keep streaming, but the problem is, is that I need to access my phone to be able to, to, be able to uh, get into Origin, to get into... Uh, Twitch and everything else, so. Oh, I need to download Horror Monitor. So let's get that downloaded. So over here I can kind of see the temperatures looking pretty good right now at mostly idle. It's in the 30s uh, Celsius. So that works out well. Um, and then here's my temperatures on the graphics card. So it's in the 30s. Oh, maybe that's why I need it. Because I remember I, it used to be more blue when I did this. So maybe I should do 40, 50, 60. Maybe do something like that. Because this thing's going to this thing's gonna be mostly idling around 30 Celsius, right? So if I do something like that, then I can get an idea of, of how it's doing. So that'll work. All right. What's the status with warships? Yep, so now I've got an email that I have to check, and I guess I could use my streaming laptop to check that email. Hold on a sec, guys. I'll be right back. I was just checking in with the wife. Honey, do you want to see the computer? I can keep you off frame. You can keep me off frame. All right. Wife wants to be off frame, but so just stay behind the camera okay. here. And please don't step on things. Thank you. Looks very nice. But it looks sexy, huh? Looks good. 
Yeah. So, I got a few things I need to figure out still. Like, I got to figure out how to connect the Asus motherboard RGB with the RGB down at the bottom and possibly the RGB up at the top. And I got to figure out why this middle fan, which is currently connected to the graphics card, isn't actually turning at all. So, that's something else that I need to, to mess with. Mm. Um, I'm trying to install stuff right now, and because I'm streaming, I can't get to my phone, so I can't, uh, you know, um, put in security messages and stuff that get emailed to me. Right. So, okay. that's all stuff that I have to be working on um, after dinner, I guess, so... Okay. Um, uh, Chad, I need a name for this computer. That is Lady Zath, yes. She's so glad she got me out of the, the living room. Yeah. Try switching fans to see. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, the problem is, is I'm downloading stuff right now. I mean, it's just war gaming. So it's just worship, so I don't care. Um, but we can try that. Let, let's, tr let's try that. Dave? I'm not going to call it Dave. HMS Asus? Oh, God. DJ. Um... Uh, Lauren Jarvis Jarvis, hmm. USS Mrs. App. Oh, I see, I see what you mean. Uh, Right, that's true. That is very true. Um, all right. So I'm logging into Steam. Uncle er Yamamoto, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> the other woman. <laughs> Lol. Um. Right. Okay. All right. Steam is updated and installed. I'm at seventy four percent. Wife does want me to stop my stream soon. Tm. So here's what I think I'm going to do, because I know you guys want to figure out this fan just like me. I'm going to shut the computer down. And we're going to try changing the the PWM header, and uh, we'll try putting it on the M.2. Uh, slot like I was saying earlier and let's see if that works okay so we'll see if uh, taking out the ox fan go and we were talking about connecting it to, uh, where's the damn header here? M.2 fan, which is the very bottom one. Down here. There it is, M.2 fan. Okay. So that's connected. Let's plug it back in. And just like that, the fan's running. Okay, so it's it's something to deal with the graphics card and running the PWM. Maybe I won't bother with it. Juggernaut. So maybe I'll just let it because it, it, it looks kind of silly if this one's not running at the same speed as the other ones, right? Kind of looks like it isn't anyways. I might, I might spend some time, guys, um, to switch around uh, this fan and the bottom fan. Maybe I'll do something like that. Because it, it looks to me like the... Uh... The fans aren't going at the same speed right now anyways, you know? Um, 
Where can I access that? Yeah, you can always check BIOS for speed fa uh, fans. And I've got the hardware monitor, so I can run that too. Um, can you guys see? I'll lay back up a little bit. Okay. I think my phone is going to die soon, guys. Um...